assets are long-term assets that provide benefits to companies for more than one year. Examples of these assets are land, buildings, machinery, vehicles, and equipment. Assets like vehicles wear out or decline in usefulness as they are used. So part of the cost of the asset has to be matched to the time period in which the vehicle is used. Amortization, which is also called depreciation, is the portion of the cost that is allocated to a specific period of time. The method that we use to calculate amortization is called the straight line method. And it's calculated by taking the cost of the asset, subtracting off the salvage value or residual value, and dividing by the useful life. Salvage value or residual value is the value that the company would receive if they decided to sell it when they were finished with it. Useful life is how long the company has decided to use the asset for. We're going to use this example to demonstrate the concept of amortization. So on January 1, 2011, a company purchased a piece of equipment for $72,000. The company is expected to have a useful life of four years and have a salvage value of $8,000. So remember salvage value, the $8,000 is what the company expects to be able to sell the equipment for after the end of the four years. The useful life is how long the company has decided to use this piece of equipment. On January 1st, 2011, the journal entry that we would have used to record the piece of equipment would look like this. We would have debited the equipment account and credited the cash account on January 1st, 2011. The equipment account always represents how much we paid for the equipment. It doesn't change based on how long the company has used the piece of equipment. We calculate amortization using this formula, assets minus salvage value divided by useful life. This is called the straight line method for calculating amortization. There's lots of other ways, and we cover that in a different course. If we calculate amortization on this piece of equipment, we know that the cost of the asset was $72,000, the salvage value is $8,000, and the useful life is four years. So we're going to subtract 8,000 from 72,000, and we get 64,000, and we divide it by 4. The result is 16,000. So the 16,000 represents the amortization of this piece of equipment for one year. That's how much the piece of equipment has declined in usefulness for one year. When we record that number in the books of the company, we're going to use two brand new accounts. So our journal entry is going to look like this. So we're going to debit amortization expense for the equipment for $16,000. And we're going to credit the accumulated amortization account for the equipment for $16,000. The first account is an expense account. Remember, an expense account is a cost of producing revenue. So this account represents how much we, that a piece of equipment has declined in usefulness for that year. The accumulated amortization account is called a contra asset account. And you're probably groaning and saying, oh my gosh, what is that? So the term contra asset means that this account is an asset, but it doesn't have a debit balance. It has a credit balance. This account is used to accumulate all of the amortization that gets taken on this piece of equipment since the equipment was purchased by the company. All right, so just to summarize, what we've done is we've calculated amortization using the formula for straight line amortization. The result that we got was $16,000. In the first year, we recorded that amortization with the journal entry of debit to amortization expense and a credit to accumulated amortization. So if you look at the T accounts, that's what you see in the T account. Since we're using straight line amortization, this is also the journal entry that gets recorded every year that we use that asset for the next four years, so 2011, 2012, 13, and 14. If we look at the T accounts for these two accounts, the amortization expense represents the decline in usefulness of the equipment for that one year. Every year, this account gets cleared out to zero. The accumulated amortization account, though, is an asset account. And like any other asset account, the balance in that account keeps accumulating or changing as we um, have transactions that affect that particular account. So if we record our amortization expense in 2012, 
our journal entry again would be a debit to amortization expense and a credit to accumulated amortization. So you see how this amortization account keeps accumulating or getting bigger. In 2013, we would again record that journal entry, debit amortization ex expense, a credit to accumulated amortization. So in our T account or general ledger account for accumulated amortization, you'd see the $16,000 for 2013 as well. And again, in 2014, we're going to record it again because remember our asset is going to be used for four years. So that's the amortization, so the amortization for 2014 is going to be $16,000 as well. At the end of the four years, this account keeps accumulating. So as we use this piece of equipment, this accumulated amortization account keeps going up and up and up until the final year, and the balance in this account would be $64,000. This last slide shows how the equipment and the accumulated amortization account would look on our balance sheet each year. Remember that the number in the equipment account always represents the cost of the equipment. It doesn't change. As we record the amortization expense each year, the accumulated amortization account keeps changing. It keeps increasing. So when we look at the information that's put on the balance sheet in 2011, the equipment account has $72,000 in it, and the accumulated amortization would have had one year's worth of amortization in it, and that would be the $16,000. The difference between these two numbers is called book value. And basically what this means is that according to the books of the company, the equipment has a value of $56,000 at the end of December 31st, 2011. You have to remember that the amortization is just an estimate, so the book value doesn't represent the real market value of the equipment, what you could sell it for on the open market. In 2012, the equipment account, again, doesn't change. It stays at $72,000, but the accumulated amortization account increases because we, now we have two years' worth of amortization in that account. The book value is now $40,000. So if you look at the trends that you see in the numbers we have presented here, with the accumulated amortization account, it keeps going up and up and up okay, because it accumulates how much amortization we've recorded for that piece of equipment since we purchased it. The book value of the piece of equipment keeps going down and down and down until it reaches the salvage value.